Hey y'all, so welcome back to my channel and I'm just touching up my roots. This time, I don't, it's not grown out too like crazy, but I still don't really like the look of when my roots are grown out with this color hair specifically. I just feel like the color ends up looking dull. And honestly, the color just doesn't pick up as well as it is in person. Like in person, it's a lot brighter and in the light, it's a lot brighter than it is on this cool light that I have, but I digress. Anyway, I am coloring the ends first because as you know from my previous video, I'll link it here. I had box dye on the ends of my hair, so it didn't take to the color as well as it should have. So I'm just trying to lighten that a bit. It won't honestly like get to the point that I needed to like match. I probably need to actually bleach that section and strip that color completely. But I was doing this hair color at like 12 o'clock at night. Honestly, I was just not rushing, but I didn't have time to do all that. I just needed to color it enough for my quick weave and such like that. And I'm just pretty much taking the L'Oreal copper color, the highlights color in copper, and I'm using a 30 volume developer because I just want it as light as possible. I don't want my roots to be um, dark or anything. So yeah. And I just want to get it done in one pass. You can, I guess, go in with a 20 or something like that, but 30 just works for me and I'm just keeping it where the dark hair is. I'm not trying to put it on the red spot as much as possible. Like I'm trying to avoid the red as much as possible, but obviously if you get it, just be a little bit careful and don't let it stay on too long. And just like a perm, you're just gonna go around the perimeter and then split each section and get into the inner uh, part of the hair. And that's pretty much all I did. It's super easy, guys. Nothing like crazy, but I would definitely recommend getting somebody to help you with this just so that you can get the back pro like properly because it is so much easier to color your whole head than it is to touch up roots. I feel like touching up roots is actually harder than coloring my whole head. I just go in with my hand just to make sure like the dark pieces are completely soaked in the color. I don't wanna miss any spots, anything. Like I don't want black roots anywhere. So I'm just going in mostly in that middle part because that's gonna be the part that shows the most. That's where I part my hair the most. So if anything, I definitely wanted that to be the slightest, but you wanna make sure that's the case all around. So like you can see, I'm splitting the hair and I'm just depositing that color right where it's dark. And I did, you see, get it on the red, but not as much.
So my camera did die, but so I didn't blow dry my hair on camera, but I basically just washed the dye out after about 20 to 30 minutes of processing. And I just washed it out with my regular shampoo and conditioner, but this is the color. You can still see it's still dark. Like I said, I probably just need to bleach it, but it's definitely way lighter than what it was. And then the roots are all all coated not one dark spot i just wanted to make sure my roots at least was good but the color really isn't too bad like as you can see like this is more of it in its natural like spot and it doesn't have any sort of like dark spots as you can tell from the end it blends in pretty well that would be like the most natural lighting but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And see you all in my next video.